Well, you know what time it is. It's time to do 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 do. Well, hello there, Apple Buddies. This is your Apple Bite, Rafael Tavares, talking to you straight from our show here, The Written Writ. A show where you and I, and I and you, take a journey together to become better writers. And of course, we all know that I've been challenged. Well, that's besides the point. I know what you're talking about. Haha, ha, very funny. <laughs> well, we all know that I challenged you to challenge me, so that makes it a d -d duel challenge. <laughs> anyway. Well, that's what we're doing right now. You have been challenged to challenge me, my favorite type of writer's prompt, which is you tell me to do something and I do it. You give me a word, a phrase, something, and I will give you something in return. <laughs> Never mind me. You know my insanity is full and blessed. <laughs> well, we all know what a writer's prompt is. A writer's prompt is a tool that writers use to get themselves writing. And this tool is you challenging me with a specific set of things. Is it a story? Is it a word? Is it a phrase? Is it a concept? Well, you get the idea. And this one comes from Rachel Stevens. Thank you, Rachel. Ah, you may be asking me, how, how is this one different than the other ones? Good question. Are you reading my mind or something there? <laughs> well, I was talking to Rachel, and I was trying to explain to her what this is, you know, this challenge thing is. And we went back and forth for a minute, and what happened was, you know, sometimes people just want to talk to me at the weirdest times, you know that? <laughs> yeah, that was my um, some some game giving me more lives. Maybe I should stop talking to you and play like, uh, never mind. Well, I lost track. I digress. I was talking to Rachel and I was trying to explain this little thing that we call the challenge. I was telling her that people send me a phrase, a word, something, so, and I do something with it. Write a story, write a poem, write something. And I told her, well, give me something so I can explain it to you. And she gave me, it's like cemetery morning dew. It's like a cemetery morning dew. Right. So, that is what she gave me. And now, I will explain to you what happened. In my process to explain things, I showed her how my mind works. And she was so scared. No, just kidding, Rachel. Here we go. This is what popped into my head first. It's like cemetery Morton Dew. Morton Dew. Morton Dew. Morton, stop bothering me. <clears throat> it's like cemetery Morning Dew. He said to no one, that's who. There's just a sadness, a sadness. Or is that a happiness? Oh, I don't know. Why? Oh, I don't know why. Yet between here and there, in the middle of where? Or is that oblivion speaking through the tear? Stop inquiring me, for I cannot say. My heart is just not anywhere. Easy, you say, it is to say, but complex it is what I swear. Do you understand or even care? Don't you know it's all hidden there? This labyrinth, this labyrinth, so complex in its perplexity, yet simple it is in its ex existence here. Yet can you figure can you see this riddle fair of my insanity? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the first thing that popped into my head. A nice little poem there. Can you figure out what I'm talking about? Am I just talking gibberish? Can you say, hey, Ralph, that's not a poem. That's just you mouthing weird gibberish off. Well, it's a poem to me. You know, poetry is an expression of self. And I've used that form, that form format and that put together of these words to say something. Can you figure it out? Now, that was the poem that first popped into my head. The next thing that popped into my head, just to show where we're going, I love it here in the morning, he said, 
as she lay there in the cemetery morning dew gasping for air. This twilight from here is breathtaking, and the morning cemetery dew fills one's lungs with sweetness too. Now, hun, you need to figure out, and quickly too, if you wish to accept my offer. Eternity is yours. If you just say yes, or oblivion you meet, if no, you do. His gaze is on her as she struggles to breathe. A smile to his face can clearly be seen. A smile of such power brings shivers to all. A smile of such power that it unleashes just all. Now, I could just pick you up and take you with me. Yes, I could. And that would give you more time to decide. Yes, it would. Too bad I'm just not feeling that much good will towards you. He laughs <laughs> as he walks away from her, deciding death would be better for all. Wait, she says as she musters her strength. Please take me with you, my master, my all. I bow to your will and become yours until the world starts to fall. He smiles deeply and picks her right up. She's his now forever, as he hides from the sun. Eternity's forever, and he smiles one more time. For this eve she awakens, awakens all his. As you can see, it's still a little bit poetic, but it's more of a story format. Now you have two different things where you went with the phrase, it's like a cemetery Morton, morning dew. Morton, leave me alone, Morton. <laughs> well, there you go. And of course, we all know, this can be a writer's prompt. Like I said, anything can be a writer's prompt. But, you know, the, the usual like the format, it's like cemetery morning dew. Now, you are quested or challenged. I challenge you now. This is a nice phrase. How can you or what can you do with this? I want to know. Let me know what you think. Did I explain this well enough? Are you understanding the challenge a little better? Do you see how things can come differently? That's just the way it is. Sometimes when I'm first challenged, one thing is there. One thing is present. And then that changes to something else. Sometimes you don't even see what I do because I just get rid of it. I shouldn't do that, but eh, sometimes I'm working on things and it just doesn't work. Crumble, crumble, crumble. Two points! Ah! <laughs> well, my friends, I hope you've liked this episode. This is Raphael Tavares signing off. Until next time. Well, all right, Apple Biteys, that's our show for the week. And you know you liked it, so give us thumbs up and share your story. Share what you're doing with this or with other things down there in the comment section down below. Let us know what we're doing. Let us know what we're not doing. Let us know what you want to see. You want us to cover something in particular about writing? We shall cover it. All right then, until the next time, this is Rafael Tavares signing off. Adios, amigos. It's like cemetery morning, dude.